Hostile care package. I don't know what it is about this micro map, but every single time I get on it, it doesn't really matter what I'm playing, I just go off on the enemy team, and it's really not even my favorite map. What's going on you guys? Grey Disciple back with another Grey's Mail. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. It was a pretty cool weekend actually. I did get to watch some football. There were some upsets, pretty interesting. Cowboys don't look that bad, so I have my hopes. Not really. <laughs> I had a bunch of baseball games, volleyball games. It was a great weekend. It really was. The teaching at my church went pretty well, so I'm feeling feeling good. I was exhausted, though. Usually, I do these Gray's mails on uh, Thursday. You know, I usually post the video on Monday, see what the response is. If there's any new questions, I put them in with all the other questions, and I go through them, and I pick out which ones are going to work. And I'm telling you, man, this last week was super busy for me. I mean, it's Sunday night, and I'm putting this video together, and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that I'm going to be able to get this out for you guys. But, um... Yeah, I don't know what it is about this micro map. Man, every single time it comes up, it gets voted. It is easily a fan favorite. Probably one of the most popular maps in the game. Not my favorite. I do like the rotation. I have played it on Safeguard, Core Domination, Hardpoint, Uplink, Kill Confirmed, Team Deathmatch, and Hardcore Dom. And it doesn't matter what game mode I play, I just get the map and it just works and I just dominate. I, I really enjoy it, but personally, I prefer standoff. And if I'm ranking DLCs, I got to say that DLC 3 is still my favorite with Berserk and Cryogen and Empire. Empire is probably my favorite map in the game still today. But I, I really liked Berserk as well. And then Rumble, I mean, obviously in the background, you're watching me play some Rumble. In this game, I go off with the LMG. And I know I'm supposed to get to the mail, but let me just let me just tell you a little bit. I joined this game late. I'm going for the LMG Abomination on PS4. I'm just messing around trying to get into some DLC maps. And I start off the game with a nuclear. I mean, go figure. And I wasn't even going for it. I was just relaxing. I was just picking my spots. And I mean, when I go into the second half, I kill the first guy, bam, nuclear. It was, it was just amazing. I didn't even realize I was on the streak. Oh, great gameplay. Great gameplay. So I have some I have some pretty good questions on here. Um, some of them I will get to in other videos. I don't know. It's like some of them fit better with one another. But there's one particular question that I really wanted to focus on. Probably one of the best questions. And this one has to do with YouTube. Very interesting question. A question that I think about a lot or a topic that I think about a lot. And it comes from Degary1980. Now, Degary1980 changed his name to Average Gary. And I think it's Gary. I don't think it's Jerry. But if I'm saying it wrong, I apologize. It's late at night, man. I'm tired. <laughs> All right. Okay, so here's his question. He he's talking about friendship on YouTube. And I think what he's talking about are content creators. He says, you know, it, it could be with subs. When I become friends with somebody on YouTube, am I doing it out of the growth of my channel or am I doing it sincerely? And let me tell you, bud, I have learned this the hard way. If you guys are content creators, I want y'all to listen to me very closely. Now, of course, if you've been in the game a while, you probably figured some of this stuff out. But, you know, I've been on a little bit of a learning curve. I think I'm going into my 10th month on YouTube. And it's very interesting, the dynamic on YouTube. First off, I'm in contact with some really large YouTubers. I mean, in the hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Um, I message with them all the time. It's not that I'm using them for shout outs. I never get shout outs from them. I just, I message with them. They ask me questions. You know, I've kind of set a precedent on YouTube of who I am and my reputation based on the content that I put up. So I think people instinctively feel like they can trust me and they should be able to trust me because I'm a pretty honest guy. I'm not going to lead you wrong. You guys know I'm not doing this for a business. I'm just here to help people out. And I've proven that along the way. So I get messages from some really large YouTubers. And no, I'm not going to give you their names because it's just not necessary. And if they do so choose to shout me out later on down the road, great. If not, oh well. Because ultimately in life, you guys, if y'all have listened to any of my Church for Gamers videos, life has nothing to do with selfishness or ambition or vain conceit or the gathering of wealth. That is all meaningless. 
The only thing that matters in this life outside of a relationship with God is personal relationships. What kind of effect do you have on another person's life? Is it positive or negative? Or what kind of mark are you going to leave? I mean, realize that most of you, all of us, will be forgotten rather quickly. I mean, as soon as you die, you're gone. So the only thing that you leave behind are the marks that, that you put or the impressions that you make on other people. So I'm here to help, right? So I have some really cool relationships and I have formed relationships with a lot of smaller YouTubers as well. YouTubers who started with me. You know, our, our channels have kind of grown together like Mr. Tracky or um, NYZ Fly Guy is another one. Those are the two that popped in my head. I know there's a lot more. And along the way, I've also started to help out some smaller YouTubers and watch their channels grow. And I love it. And I do it just because I want to help people. But then every once in a while, especially since I've been on TSG a lot, I get people who want to use me. And I can spot them from a mile away now. But when I first started, man, I got sucked into a lot of things. I mean, I would give people shout outs. And then within a week or two, they would insult me on their channel. And I would just be like, I mean, are you kidding me? I, I literally helped you out and now you're insulting me. I mean, they specifically tried to create a relationship with me in order for me to push their channel forward. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. It truly is ridiculous. And I've learned this. If, if there's anything you can take away as a content creator is just because somebody subscribes to you does not mean that you then have to subscribe to them. And that's very important. And I know that probably 10 to 15% of the people who are sub to me are other YouTubers. And I, granted, they probably, I hope they like my content. I hope they're not just there leaving comments because they want me to come over to their channel and check them out. But you don't have to subscribe to everybody that subscribes to you because you will get overwhelmed. And I learned this the hard way. And, and thankfully, a lot of these smaller YouTubers who I had subscribed to in return, most of them have quit at this point. The ones that mean a lot are still commenting on my videos that I still have relationships with. And I've had a relationship with these guys since the beginning. I mean, some of these guys had like four or five subs when I first started talking with them. And we have great relationships, real friendships, kind of like Truce Chaos and Rocksteady and Trombone Loki. I mean, guys that I've talked to for like six, seven, eight months. Zeo Crisis is another one. I mean, legitimate relationships with people or Jerry I mean I, I've spoken with you man for probably like four or five months now in, in uh, OG Gibbon and and uh, fewer Dan I mean guys who do YouTube out of a hobby not because they want to be famous and they don't just want it given to them you know what I mean but then along the way you get these guys who specifically message me on Twitter and on my channel wanting me to come over to their content hoping that I'll like their videos so they can retweet my tweet and hopefully gain some of my subs. They want shout outs and all this kind of stuff. And it's just like, dude, I mean, if you want to have a relationship with me, I'll help you out, you know, that kind of thing. But don't don't just follow me and leave comments on my channel just so I'll come over and do the same thing to you because I don't have enough time in the day. I don't, I don't really have a strategy in picking these people off, but you just kind of notice it. It's kind of like this. Have you ever heard of this? Uh, you know, if you became rich out of nowhere and, um, and people wanted to be your friend at that point, you couldn't tell whether or not they wanted to be your friend because of the money or because of who you are. Whereas the people who knew you before you were rich, they liked you for who you were, not because you had the money. It's a lot like that on YouTube. Once you start feeling growth with your sub count, the people who were with you before you started feeling the growth, those are usually the ones that actually like you for who you are. The YouTubers that come across after you've already grown, those are more than likely the feeders. Those are the ones who are wanting to use you and your sub base in order to gain their own subs and grow their channel. Really confusing. And I feel for a lot of these big YouTubers because, I mean, even when I leave them comments, I try to not come across as somebody who's trying to feed off of them. I mean, I legitimately like some of these guys all right so I, I don't know if that that answers your question and this this kind of piggybacks on another question i was asked a while back by iris engine he asked me how do i promote my channel outside of tsg and twitter and but my answer to you on this is just relationships it's contacting guys asking them questions legitimate questions asking them to look at your content not for a subscribe or for a shout out just saying hey man if i'm doing something wrong let me know if you have any advice on me on where to go from here let me know i talk to him on twitter i'll direct message him on youtube and believe it or not, I get a lot of responses back. I mean, one of the coolest ones was I'm Marksman. He came over and checked me out and he gave me some advice on my content. And I've been watching I'm Marksman forever. And 
I, I've messaged back and forth with Thunder a lot. I mean, obviously I've been on THG 11 times and I've gotten to talk with Chaos Silencer. I've, I've tweeted back and forth with Drifter, um, Troll Munchies, uh, Eight Thoughts, Honor the Call. I mean, just a bunch of cool guys. And if you're out there just to make relationships and get some help, these guys will definitely help you out. But the minute you start getting greedy and you, you start overreaching on a relationship that's not there asking them to push your channel forward, that's when everything caves in on itself. So personal relationships, man, that's how you grow your channel. And I, and, I've, and this is one thing right here. I know that my channel will not grow unless I do get shout outs from other channels. So, I mean, I'll get that daily, you know, growth of three to five subs, which is fine. I'm not going to stop doing my content, but you know, if you don't get a shout out from one of these big guys, it is really, really difficult to grow unless you do something absolutely amazing in this game or you find some glitch or you come across some information that nobody has ever heard of it's virtually impossible to get noticed on a large scale without that so there you go I hope it helps I really like these questions I want you to know that I have a bunch more okay and what like I said what I'm gonna try to do is categorize them together to where like when I answer them they kind of all fit with one another all right you guys have an awesome Monday I'll be around. I'm going to try to live stream later on tonight, so stop on by. I usually do it in the evening. My son's got a baseball game, so hopefully I have enough energy to stream. You guys have an awesome day. As always, if you liked it, hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. Ask me questions, please, because it helps me. And if you're new here, subscribe, because I'm here every day.